Hi, I'm Mark Tewart. I wanted to ask you a question. Have you ever had a marital problem, boyfriend, girlfriend problem, money problem, career problem, relationship problem? If I were to ask anybody in the world that, you're probably going to raise your hand and say, sure. Well, nobody goes through life unscathed. We all have challenges. We all have issues. We all have things that we have to work through. And what happens at times is we become so overburdened that we get emotional and we grow the perception in our mind, in our brain, that the problem is much higher than what it really is, much bigger than what it ever could be. And nobody probably uh, can go through life without that ever happening. But knowing that and recognizing that at that given moment, that you're taking something that could be a challenge and changing the perception to make it a quote problem, a struggle, and making it so massive in your mind that you don't know how you can ever get past it. Well, just realizing that that's the case, that that's what you're doing, that it's an inside out thing, that you are taking something in your mind and adding a perception to it that's really not as big as what you would uh, dream it up to be. And if you look around, we all know that everybody has challenges and most of those people that you're seeing every day probably have challenges that may be even bigger than yours. But the power of the mind and how you address it is going to take you out of that challenge and onto a better day, or it's going to just drag you deeper and deeper and deeper. And I want to share something with you. I was recently rereading a book, and I'm going to share a little bit of this book with you. It's by Charles Fillmore, and it's called Prosperity. I've read this book several times, and he was a gentleman that was one of the forethought of the uh, New Thought movement back in starting the 1800s. And I really like this book because it really lets you understand some of the truths, some of the truths of prosperity and some of the challenges that we all face with our mind. And from time to time, it's a really good book to pick up and reread. But here's a little passage for you. You could do anything with the thoughts of your mind. They are yours and under your control. You could direct them, coerce them, hush them, or crush them. You could dissolve one thought and put another in its steed. Easy to say, but what are you going to do that will instantly be an anchoring point for you the next time you face a challenge? Financial, marital, relationship, uh, a rude person. I mean, we're not always going to react in the right way. We're not always going to think in the right way. But if we do it more than we don't, that will determine our success in the future and our happiness. So what are you going to do as an anchoring point? Will it be a song? Will it be a passage in a book? Will it be something that you write or a goal that you have or somebody that you always reach out to that's your sounding board that you know that can bring you a little bit back towards center? We all need something that we have to have that we should uh, rely upon because by ourselves we're not perfect human beings and we're going to get moving in the wrong direction from time to time and you need an outside force something that you are utilizing to bring your inner back to where it needs to be to direct your outer back to where it should be as well I'm Mark Tewart and thanks for joining me today and uh, make sure you check out our website smarttewart.com Tour.com and my blog at marktuart.com slash blog. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. Thanks a lot and may you have your best year ever.